Alrighty, hi everybody, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, hello, hello. Um, today I have something different for you guys. I am trying to run my webcam and my phone camera footage so you guys can see my desk and stuff and me while I'm talking about um, whatever I've got going on today with my diamond painting stuff. Um, really appreciate you guys being here. I'm thinking that today what I want to do is work on a new painting that I've gotten recently. Um, let me see. So everything looks pretty good. This is like the first time that I'm really trying this out. So right now I'm going to be talking to you guys about another purchase that I made very recently. This is another Randall Spangler. Um, piece by Diamond Art Club and it is the Flight of the Fireflies. Um, let's see. So I made this purchase last week. I think it may have been like two Sundays ago. Um, I have been stalking the Diamond Art Club app lately. So if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't heard me talk about this obsessively for the past month, I am on the search for Witch's Bedroom by Diamond Art Club. Um, I am convinced that it's going to restock soon, so I've got the Diamond Art Club app on my phone, and it sends you push notifications when something on your favorite list is restocked. So I got the notification for this here. I guess I can show you guys this here. I've got it upside down. Let me move some of this stuff. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. It is July the, it's Wednesday, July 19th. Today was kind of slow for me, like in general. So I thought I might as well just um, do a little video here with you guys. So this here's what we're looking at. So this is the fight or flight of the fireflies. Um, I think that it's the name is kind of based off of like a, a song or wasn't there like a classical song or something called something of the fireflies or flight of the. I bet somebody knows what I'm thinking about here. Um, but yeah, this is really cute. I've had my eyes on this for a while. I wish that I had a photo to show up. To you guys like right now of what it looks like when it's completed but you can see here i've got two little dragons here and they have a glass jar full of fireflies um i did finish randall spangler's couch dragon maybe a week before last maybe it was like the start of last week i think maybe monday i finished it really late at night um but let's see um from that diamond painting, I have a lot of leftover glow-in-the-dark diamonds, so I think what I want to do with those... I keep kind of looking at my phone to see exactly what you guys can see, so if I'm like pointing to something, you know, um, this is just going to take some time for me to get used to with the, the phone recording or whatever. Do you guys like my little binder clips, my little red and blue ones? I don't even know if you guys can see them um, with how I'm going to overlay the video and stuff. But anyway, I was working on this for a little bit last night, just trying to get everything together, you know. But those glow-in-the-dark ABs, I want to put them in the, the little firefly jar here. So that way, when the light goes out at night, I can still kind of see the fireflies or something. I was honestly looking last night into getting some glow-in-the-dark ABs, like directly from Amazon or something. Just so if in the future I want to put some somewhere, I don't feel like I have to be super stingy or just hoard a whole bunch of ABs, you know, or not ABs, but you know, glow in the dark drills. Um, so I'm kind of looking into that. If you guys have any recommendations on where I can get some good quality glow in the dark drills. I was looking at some reviews from Amazon yesterday. I think it was like really late last night that I was looking. And um, it seems like a lot of them were kind of junky. So here we have the Light of the Fireflies. Um, I've already opened my case up. As you guys can see, I didn't wait, you know, just to open this on camera or whatever. Um, if 
feel like my, my lighting is not exactly what I want on this camera, but we'll figure it out. So this drill comes with all of your diamonds as usual. I feel like my, my drill unboxings are usually kind of chaotic because I just like throw everything out there and I'm just looking at everything very sporadically. There is a very different kind of drill. If you guys can see this, they're kind of like, um, like glass, like you can see straight through them. I think there's a word for this that I don't just have off of the top of my head. The number begins with L, so it's L444. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I picked this up kind of impulsively the other day. I had been looking at this online for like a year, maybe. Now I've got like the slight hiccups. Okay, so I was looking at this print online for maybe like a year or two. Like I had kind of seen it and I always thought, oh, that's kind of cute. Cause you know, I'm a summer kind of girl. I like summer. Um, recently I made a video about uh, picking up the, the Diamond Art Club kit for Beachcomber's Bounty, which is a huge giant square. <laughs> it is gigantic. And I was thinking about starting that next, and I thought, well, maybe I could start a few things at the same time. So maybe I could do Beachcomber's Bounty and something like this at the same time, you know? Um, and that way I could kind of take turns between them. If I get kind of burnt out, I can take a break on one and go to the other. Beachcomber's Bounty is also a very large square. I am notoriously bad about hating squares. Um, I was working on a square recently and it's so difficult for me. I don't know how to explain it, but it just does not work in my favor at all. I hate working on the squares. So I need to be more positive. I mean, need to have like a more, like just like a better mental can-do attitude about it so that I'm not just disliking something before I even begin it. You know what I mean? Um, this toolkit, I have something to confess to you guys. I've bought a few diamond paintings in the last month or so. So I finally finished Couch Dragon, which you guys can see on my channel if you guys are new or if you've been here before. I did finish it. I want to do like a diamond painting review, but I'm being lazy. I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I do feel like my camera could be a little bit lower. But I'm also not trying to show y'all my lap, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to show y'all all that. Um, so I will say that recently, a few weeks ago, um, I made a whip and chat where I was talking about certain diamond paintings that I want to get, like a wish list. Um, one of those diamond paintings was Primrose, which is a... Alphonse Mufos. I forget what his last name is. Um, so I picked that up. Listen, that's the this is the last impulse I'm making. Okay, so this is just a story time unboxing or whatever. So anyway, um, I got Primrose and kind of went through it and maybe kitted up off YouTube, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but I will tell you that Primrose had the same, the same little kit. So I got Primrose maybe three weeks ago. And then I got this came in maybe Friday. Today's Wednesday. Maybe it came in Monday, actually. It came in Monday. So Primrose came with the, let me sit up straight, the black pen with the black squeegee the floral washi and oh here's a multi-placer um it came with this really awful cover minder it's not bad i don't like it you know what i mean like it's not terribly awful i will say in one of my kits the cover minder was missing the um the magnet on the back of it wasn't super happy about that and when I ordered Primrose, oh, I have more to tell you guys. Okay, when I ordered Primrose, 
You can't see very well here. There it is. I don't know if you if I'm gonna have this super small where you can't see a close up, or maybe I'll put in a picture if I'm that savvy. You can see tiny little raised bumps on this set of tweezers. Now this came with primrose. And they also seem kind of bent in a really weird way. Um I need to fix my posture. I'm not used to you guys looking at me, so I'm just kind of being lazy on accident. Um, so this has a really weird texture on it. Um, it looks like there you get maybe a regular set of tweezers and then Diamond Art Club applies like an applique over the top of it. I figured that just as a business that that's how they're doing things. Um, but this looks awful. I hate it. So I'm a perfectionist. I am an A-type personality. I don't like it. Um, I feel like when you touch it, it's awful. You can feel the raised bumps and everything. It's just no, no, no good. Um, so yeah, those are the issues that I've had recently. This is the cover minder that I was talking to you guys about um, that was missing a magnet. And I put some nail glue on the back of it. So hopefully, hopefully that fixes itself. It's a little dog with a peach. It's super cute. It kind of matches my top today, which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, I thought that was interesting to note that um, the washi tape and the, the pen that it comes with. It was the same exact thing as Primrose. I thought that that was kind of lame. I really kind of thought that um, the color scheme was different for each diamond painting. So this, um, this diamond painting you guys are looking at here, it's pretty dark. It does have like a lot of black in it, whatever. So maybe they were kind of trying to match the, the black pen to the black washi tape, but for me, I would rather have something really colorful and cute. I thought for Primrose, this was totally fine. Primrose is a very, um, like, mature, kind of art deco style. I wish I could see this in front of me so I know, like, what I'm doing with my hands or whatever. So anyway, um, I just thought it was kind of lame. I really don't like the flower. I feel like it's just not my style. You know what we should do? You know, I see... I have like an Instagram feed, you know, everybody's got Instagram. So on my Instagram feed, I have a friend who does a lot of traveling with Disney or he likes to go to the parks, you know. So I get stuff from my algorithm because he looks at all the Disney stuff. So apparently the Disney people, the uh, the adult Disney people, they, um, they collect pens and sometimes they'll swap the pens. Imagine like a cover minder swap, that'd be really nice because I really don't care for this. I've been looking on Etsy for some cover minder stuff just to find something different or something I think would be cool. Um, but I kind of want to make my own, you know what I mean? So anyway, back to the defects, the Diamond Art Club issues that I've had recently. Um, so like I said, my cover minder was missing a magnet on the back of this. I found the back to it finally in the very bottom of the box. I will say that on Beachcomber's Bounty, this paper sack that they put the tools in, the bottom of it was ripped out. And you could tell it was just from like shipping or whatever. And then I'm assuming that's how like the magnet came off or whatever. So I had a problem with my baggie, my magnet, my my tool is all bumpy and weird. I don't know if it's from heat or whatever. I've had other um, square tweezers from Diamond Art Club recently that don't have this issue. I will say though, there's something crazy that happened to me. Um, I'm also kind of afraid that I'm gonna run out of space on my phone. I think I have like 30 gigs left. But who knows how long like a, a 30 minute video, what kind of file size that is. So just bear with me. Today is like a, a student driver. We're learning. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do with everything. So um, something else that I wish that I had a photo to pull up right now is I got some drills 
let me tell you guys about this from the beachcombers bounty um kit now i will preface this and say that i did buy beachcombers bounty second hand from makari however the box was not opened it was still in like the cellophane or whatever so the person had not like messed with it at all so recently when i was kidding up guess what happened so i was looking through my my colors as you do you know and what do i see have you guys ever had this happen to you there was a bug isn't that dramatic isn't that serious i don't think that it is it's still kind of gross to me though um there was a bug in my drill packet i took a picture of it i have several pictures actually um i don't know if i'll like superimpose them into this video or anything but there was a bug and you know i did buy it second hand so i didn't really want to like contact them at diamond art club i don't know if you guys have seen photos online of like <sighs> Sometimes, every now and again, I've never ordered from AliExpress or Timu before. But every now and again, you know, you get the advertisements and then it says like, oh, buy this for $2. So then you like go to the website and like look at the pictures and the reviews. I'm a window shopper. I like to look at everything. I'm just nosy. Um, so sometimes I'll go to those little websites, the little... Um, aliexpress or whatever and sometimes it'll show you images down kind of in like the product description and it'll say our company or something like um you know where we make the diamonds right so in that area you'll see this big warehouse and it'll have shelves full of little totes like um i like got like a basket like a plastic tote basket full of loose diamonds. I don't know if this is how Diamond Art Club does theirs, but I just assume that there's a bucket of every color, maybe. I don't know what kind of machine that they have or whatever, but there was a freaking, like a little bitty, bitty, bitty like, I really want to say like a bed bug looking object in there i don't really know what to or maybe like a little beetle or something it was really small but um like the color that i was looking at was pretty light blue and you could definitely see it in there i've been talking for almost 20 minutes i haven't even done anything i have not made a video in like a week i think monday i made one but it was kind of like lame and i was just working for a little bit um but I have been so tired lately. So anyway, what I'm planning on doing, and this is probably not my best idea, what I would like to do is to kit up this dang toolkit. I want to kit up and start working on this diamond painting. That being said, in the last month, I have kitted up two other kits. In the last month, I have gotten Beachcomber's Bounty to kit up, and I did. I, I really wanted to kit up one of them on the uh, on my YouTube or whatever so I could talk to you guys, you know. But there was one day, lately I've just been kind of lazy. I've been working out a lot, I've been just doing my own thing. Sometimes I'm kind of grumpy, so I don't want to talk for an hour, you know what I mean? And I'm just kind of like doing the furrowed brows, you know? Um, sometimes I get hiccups when I talk too much. <laughs> so anyway, um, so then I would kind of like hit things up alone for something fun to do, you know? So I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'm thinking with my channel, what I want to do is maybe work on a few diamond paintings at the same time. Like, I guess I'll just kind of record my journey of what I'm working on at the time. I'm really thinking that if I have two different things that are kind of different in styles, you know, that um, I kind of won't get as bored and it'll give me something new and refreshing to do, you know. Um, so what I'm planning on doing, this is the plan. 
So I'm thinking that the plan today is I'm going to upload this video right here just to test out my little webcam, plus this camera right here, see if I need to make any changes or if there's anything else that I can really like add to it that would be really nice. And then I think maybe soon or later today, I will kit this up and do like, not a whip and chat, but like a kit up and chat, you know what I mean? Don't you guys think that the idea of doing like a cover minder trade is cute? I think that that's cute. I think that's really cute. I just do not. There's something about this green. You guys have seen it already. I just don't enjoy it. But yeah, I'm really excited about this, um, this kit. Like I've mentioned before on my channel, I am definitely someone in the, um, in the winter, I definitely kind of suffer from being a little bit sadder when it's colder outside. It's not as sunny. I'm someone who needs like a lot of direct light for my dopamine. You know what I mean? So for me, I do. I just wanted to kind of get a few nice summer feeling diamond art club kits or just diamond painting kits so that when it is winter, I'll have something kind of cheerful to work on. Because I know once we do kind of start getting into fall, um, different companies are offering more like Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, autumn, you know. So I think that this will kind of give me an opportunity to have something in my arsenal that I can come back to later. Um, okay, I'm still recording. So I'm feeling pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this sucker and I'm going to start recording like a kit up. I need to do something where I can get this microphone out of my face a little bit. Like I've mentioned in other videos, I'm naturally really soft-spoken, so I kind of need to have this close to my face, you know, for you guys to like hear me very well. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I want to do a kit up. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm running out of these little thingies. These containers here. These are my only containers that I have that are free right now. And I think I need like two more rows of these to fit all of these diamonds. Part of me was kind of thinking just putting these in the bag, in the little baggies that they come with, you know? But I'm not sure what I want to do. I can either empty those out and then have a few in a little baggie. I don't know what I want to do, but I'm sure that I will figure it out very, very soon. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and stuff. I normally do whip and chats. Lately, I've been a little bit lazy about uploading, but I think I'm about to kick up and make a whole bunch of new videos here again soon. Um, if you guys have been here for a while, I appreciate you guys hanging out and coming back as usual. I really appreciate like your comments and everybody answering any questions that I have. Like I've mentioned a few times before, I am kind of like a little bit of a new person to diamond painting. I've definitely finished a few projects and a bigger project, but like everyone, I always have something that I can learn, you know? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and hopefully I will talk to you very soon.